A daycare taped his toddler's shoes to her ankles, and the mother was steaming mad. Jessica Hayes, mother of a 17-month-old, hit the roof when she discovered the Elkin, North Carolina-based daycare center called Pleasant Hill had taped her child's shoes and feet together. Hayes took to Facebook to vent and post photos once she had removed the tape from her daughter's ankles, leading several commenters to leave their differing opinions in response. While most were in agreement with Hayes, others believed she should have kept the occurrence a little more private. Jessica is outraged about her daughter's nursery taping up her skin and shoes this way. Hayes' image shows clearly how several tape layers were used to both tighten her daughter's shoes and make sure they didn't come off the child's feet. That was enough to rub Hayes the wrong way, but what set her fuming was the fact that the masking tape around her little girl's foot went well above both of her socks and shoes to become adhered to her skin. I am upset that this happened to my child. Someone was clearly upset that she was taking her shoes off and had done it out of being aggravated. This was also not just her shoes being taped up, it was also around her ankles, Hayes' Facebook post reads. To the sports players who tape their shoes, they are older and have a say in doing so and are able to say that it is tight and bothering them. My 17-month-old child was unable to say anything. The masking tape was tight enough to leave several marks on her child's legs. As well as posting the images, Hayes elaborated about the event in her post, voicing her upset over the tape having been left on long enough and tight enough to leave marks, causing swelling and bruising. Hayes states the staff used masking tape because they were aggravated. Hayes also claims that two of the nursing staff used the masking tape on her child's feet and shoes because she was taking her shoes off and did it out of anger. The vast majority of parents would find this incredibly inappropriate and upsetting if their children were treated this way. If daycare staff were taking out their frustration at a toddler doing natural toddler stuff, that's just as scary. Yes, it does hurt and break trust when you put that trust into two individuals who have been with my daughter since she was six weeks old, and to come in to her shoes being taped onto her as well as her ankles, Hayes vented. The images caused shock for the majority of commenters. Oh hell no! I was in childcare for 10 years! This is so not acceptable! Someone else wrote, I really hope you do something about this. If a parent would have done this, DSS would have been contacted. I would lose my shit, another posted. Shockingly, Hayes' daughter was not alone that day in having her feet and shoes taped together. When Hayes noticed her child's feet taped up, she went straight to Pleasant Hill's director. She reports that he was, quote, just as speechless as I was. Then she tried taking the tape off, except her child became too upset, only natural for a toddler when something as painful as that is happening. Rather, Hayes had to wait until she got home before she could take it off. Afterwards, ringing the director and informing him that her child had marks and bruises as a result of the tape. Pleasant Hill was quick to respond. Pleasant Hill Daycare as well took appropriate action and dismissed the two employees involved. There was a note to all parents to make them aware that an incident did occur. This note did not state names or exactly what happened as it shouldn't, Jessica shared. The names of these people I feel shouldn't be mentioned as it is their privacy. I have personally spoken with the director, and after viewing the footage together, we both feel the appropriate action was taken. This is all that matters as the parent and director feel appropriate action was taken. However, other commenters felt Hayes should not have made the whole thing public. I believe this is a rare and unfortunate incident that occurred, commented one person. I would still enroll my child and plan on it. Most of the teachers have been there since before I was in daycare, and they have never had an issue like this. It breaks my heart that people are bashing this facility because they are a wonderful facility. One of the new hires did something terrible, and they punished her in the only way that they could, by firing her and her assistant, someone else commented. Hayes, however, thought her response was justified, and her choice that her daughter stays enrolled. To those of you who feel I have created a bad name for this daycare, and I should take my child out of it if I have an issue, I hold my head high and feel I have done everything needed to be the voice of my child. I do not apologize for my opinion. In no way have I created a bad name for this daycare. Everyone has formed their own opinion of the daycare. In spite of feeling as though her trust in Pleasant Hill had been broken, Hayes outlined that being a sole parent, she still needed the nursery to look after her daughter. The reason being, she needed to return to earning their income to support them both. My daughter went straight back to the daycare the very next day and the rest of the week, as I feel comfortable to do so and will continue to do so, Hayes explained. This being said, everyone else should be able to do the same. I am positive this won't happen to another child as it has raised awareness to all.